Hi, my name is Alex. Today, I'd like to show you how you can make a jig that can make dowels like this with only using table saw without using a lathe. Also, I'll share some pros and cons and share some things that you should know of using this method. So stay tuned. Make sure you watch till the end of this video. Let's get to it. I got the inspiration for this project from two other YouTubers, Greenwood and Hammersong. My design is quite similar to theirs. The idea is to create a jig with a circular channel that allows the lumber to pass through. There are three simultaneous motions involved. First, the table saw spins and cuts right at the edge of the circle. Second, the drill rotates the lumber while simultaneously pushing it through the circular channel. You can see this in both the simulation and the real-life demonstration. The jig is designed to be flexible with a maximum opening diameter of 1.5 inches in my case. It also features two slots that allows for insertion of panels with smaller circular openings. I also shared the 3D CAD model in the description in case if you are also interested in making it by yourself. Now let's take a look at how this jig is made in action. Using the jig, to begin, align the center of the jig with the saw blade and cut the bottom part of the jig. When you are ready to use the jig, raise the saw blade to the desired height and clamp the jig to the fence. Refer to the picture and the video for more details. Prepare the lumber. Use a table saw to rip the lumber slightly larger than the whole size of the jig. Avoid cutting the lumber to be the exact same thickness as the diameter of the jig circle. I'll explain why in the discussion section of this video. Taper one end of the lumber so that it can easily fit through the jig's hole. For smaller dowels, you can use a knife or a belt sander. For larger sizes, I recommend using a hand planer. For the other end of the lumber, use a socket to hold it if you are making a smaller dowels. For larger dowels, drill a leg screw into the end. Then attach the socket or the leg screw to the drill. Making the dowels. So that's basically the center line and that is going to be need to be aligned with the entrance of the circle. Ensure the table saw blade is raised to the desired height so that the blade edge just touched the boundary of the circle. Place the tapered end of the lumber into the hole, turn on the table saw and use the drill to rotate the lumber while pushing it through the hole simultaneously. Be sure to keep the direction of the push aligned with the hole. Send the dowels. 
thin the dowels further to make them perfectly round and smooth. Discussion There are several important things to keep in mind when using this method. Blade height. Height of blade must be precise. You may need to fine tune it to get the perfect cut. Alignment of holes in the jig. When making the jig, ensure the holes on the front and back panels are perfectly aligned. If they are not, the dolls will not come out perfectly round. Lumber thickness. When preparing the lumber, make sure the thickness is slightly greater than the diameter of the hole. This is because the rotation center may not be exactly at the center of the lumber. If the lumber is at the same thickness as the hole's diameter and the rotation is off-center, some parts may not be cut and remain flat. As shown in the animation, the two sides of the lumber didn't get cut and stayed flat. Direction of feeding the lumber When feeding the lumber into the jig, ensure the direction is properly aligned with the hole. Misalignment can result in dowels with uneven thickness. To summarize, this method is straightforward because the jig is simple to make and only requires a table saw. However, as discussed earlier, there are a few critical details that must be precise to achieve a perfect dowel. I still find it quite challenging to get everything right. In the future, I might share a different jig design with fewer moving parts that can produce even better results. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate your support. See you in the next one.